Food is essential for life. We all need to eat. But how much do we really know about where our food comes from? Agriculture is the foundation of our food system. Education in food and agriculture is crucial for understanding these interconnected systems. It helps us make informed choices about the food we eat and the impact our choices have on the environment. Many people are disconnected from the origins of their food. Food and agriculture education can bridge this gap by teaching people about the journey of food from farm to table. Taichung City, located in central Taiwan, is promoting food and agriculture education. The city government equips its citizens with knowledge for a sustainable future. On October 30th, a special training event was held at the National Taichung University of Education. It brought together educators, officials and experts. The goal to cultivate informed and engaged citizens. The training was interactive and engaging. Participants shared experiences and developed practical skills. Taichung's commitment signals a deep understanding of food system challenges. The training event was a testament to Taichung City's collaborative spirit. Multiple government bureaus came together to organize this important initiative. The Education Bureau, the Agriculture Bureau and the Environmental Protection Bureau all played key roles. This interdepartmental collaboration highlights the interconnected nature of food, agriculture and the environment. The day began with opening remarks from key city officials. They emphasized the importance of food and agriculture education in achieving Taichung's sustainability goals. They also expressed their commitment to supporting educators in their efforts to bring these topics to life in classrooms and communities. Following the opening remarks, the training program commenced it was carefully structured to provide a comprehensive overview of key concepts. Participants delved into topics such as sustainable farming practices, the importance of local food systems, and the nutritional value of fresh produce. To ensure a rich and insightful learning experience, Taichung City invited leading experts in food and agriculture to share their expertise. Professor Zhang Ming Chun, a renowned agricultural scientist, captivated the audience with his in-depth knowledge of sustainable farming practices. He emphasized the importance of reducing chemical inputs, conserving water, and promoting biodiversity. Director Wang Ji Wei, a respected figure in nutrition and food education, provided valuable insights into the importance of healthy eating habits. She stressed the need to incorporate more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains into our diets. She also highlighted the importance of teaching children about food origins and preparation. The speaker's presentations sparked lively discussions among the participants. Educators were eager to learn how to best convey these important concepts to their students. They shared ideas for classroom activities, field trips and community engagement projects. The exchange of knowledge and experiences was a valuable aspect of the training. Section 5. Planting seeds of knowledge in schools. One of the primary goals of the training was to equip educators with the tools and resources to integrate food and agriculture education into the school curriculum. The training provided practical guidance on how to incorporate these topics into various subjects. Science classes, for example, could explore the science behind plant growth or the environmental impact of different farming methods. Math lessons could incorporate calculations related to food production, consumption or waste. History classes could delve into the evolution of agriculture and its impact on human civilization. 
the possibilities are endless. By weaving food and agriculture into existing subjects, educators can make learning more relevant and engaging for students. The training also emphasised the importance of hands-on learning experiences. School gardens, for example, provide students with a tangible connection to food production. They can learn about plant life cycles, soil health and the importance of pollinators. Field trips to local farms can also provide valuable insights into the realities of food production. Section 6. Growing Sustainable Practices in Communities The impact of food and agriculture education extends far beyond the classroom. It has the power to transform communities and promote more sustainable practices. The training encouraged participants to think about how to engage with their local communities and share their knowledge. Community gardens are a wonderful way to bring people together around food. They provide a space for residents to grow their own food, learn from each other and build a sense of community. Farmers markets are another great way to connect with local farmers learn about seasonal produce and support local agriculture. Educators can also play a role in promoting sustainable practices at home and in the community. They can encourage students to reduce food waste, compost organic materials and choose locally sourced food whenever possible. By empowering students to become agents of change, we can create a ripple effect that extends far beyond the classroom. Section 7. Nurturing Health Through Food Education Food and Agriculture Education is not just about sustainability, it's also about health. By understanding where our food comes from and how it is grown, we can make healthier choices for ourselves and our families. The training provided participants with valuable information about nutrition, food safety and the importance of a balanced diet. Educators can play a vital role in promoting healthy eating habits among children. They can teach them about the different food groups, the importance of portion control and the benefits of choosing whole foods over processed foods. School meals can also be an opportunity to introduce students to healthy and delicious food options. In addition to promoting healthy eating habits, food and agriculture education can also help address the growing problem of diet-related diseases. By teaching people about the link between food and health, we can empower them to make informed choices that can reduce their risk of developing chronic diseases such as obesity, type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Section 8. Cultivating a Greener Future Together The Taichung City Government's initiative to train seed food and agriculture educators is a commendable step towards a more sustainable future. By equipping educators with the knowledge, skills and resources they need, we can empower them to inspire the next generation to become informed and engaged citizens. This ripple effect will extend from classrooms to communities, creating a more just and sustainable food system for all. The success of this initiative, however, relies on the continued support and collaboration of various stakeholders. The government, educators, parents and the community all have a role to play. By working together, we can cultivate a brighter and more sustainable future for Taichung and beyond. Section 9. Conclusion. A bountiful harvest awaits. Investing in food and agriculture education is an investment in our collective future. It is a recognition that our food choices have far-reaching consequences for our health, our environment and our communities. By empowering individuals with the knowledge and skills to make informed decisions, we can create a more just and sustainable world for generations to come.
The seeds of change have been sown in Taichung. With continued nurturing and care, these seeds will blossom into a bountiful harvest, nourishing not only our bodies, but also our minds